Well, good morning and welcome back to the cabin. Got something a little different for you today. I think part of living the log cabin lifestyle, as I like to call it, is kind of knowing how to do a lot of different trades and a lot of different things. And, and we might even venture far from the realm of, of log cabins. Um, so, you know what? This is a lot of work. Building the cabin's a lot of work. We deserve to have a little fun every now and again. Um, so, so today, this episode is more about having fun than it is about, um, you know, really working or there's going to be a lot of technical stuff in here, but, but anyway, let's get right to it. So, so last summer I bought a four person pedal bicycle, a Surrey. Um, this thing will seat three children, six adults, four people pedal, but I'll tell you what, <laughs> And I've had it downtown and I think I have one other video on my channel with it. It's a lot of work. So even last summer when we got it, we were like, uh, we got to put a motor on that thing. So, so without further ado, let's go check it out. Um, I put a 3000 watt, 72 volt brushless motor system on it. Um, this thing will do almost 40 miles an hour now. Um, and we've had it out cruising town. So let's go take a look. So here you go. Um, I can seat three adults in the back, three adults in the front. This thing was designed for four people to pedal. Um, two children in the front. I mean, it really, you could get a, quite a load on it. And we've had it loaded up downtown with just pedal power. But let me bring you in closer and you can check out the, the system I put on it. You know, originally when I bought this, it was to put a motor on it. I was thinking steam engine or hit and miss. But with me being Johnny Appleseed at the festival, I just got to be careful, um, you know, the, the steam engine, of course, you got the pressure of the steam and I don't want anybody getting hurt. The hit and miss engine, you've got that big flywheel that's spinning in there. And I'm not saying I won't ever do it, but just when I'm taking it out around a lot of people, I don't know that I want those moving parts in there that, that might hurt someone. So anyway, I decided to go with the brushless motor for that reason. So let's check it out. Okay. Um, I tell you what, let's take it for a drive first and then I'll come back and show you all the details. Barely in the middle of it. Barely in the middle of it. Yeah. Like, look at that. I mean, we're going like 30 miles an hour. 
Oh yeah. Are we doing a good job, Bob? Yeah. Me. It's me. Because you're the stagecoach. Yeah, it is. It is different, isn't it, Bob? Yes, it is. Yeah. Very, very different. Good. Well, you better get going. We're going to take a drive before it gets too dark yep. and get this thing loaded up. Yep. All right, we'll see you, Bob. We'll see ya. Okay, well that's it for us for tonight. Um, I think that's a pretty good test run. We've had it out driving it for, I don't know, we've been messing around with it for an hour or so. Chain stayed on, battery stayed eh, up a little bit, but um, we've taken it pretty far and had a good time. Did you have fun? I had lots of fun. Good. So hopefully we'll have it downtown at the next event. Um, I think August 11th is the first one, but I got a feeling that we're gonna have to cruise downtown and find a snack or something at some point, so. Um, anyway, everybody have a good night. Okay, boy, wasn't that fun. Okay, so as you can see, this thing is set up to have four sets of pedals. But what I did was removed this set of pedals and used this for a way to get the, the brushless motor into the system. 3000 watt, 72 volt brushless motor system. Uh, the batteries are not necessarily the best batteries, I guess. Um, they're not lithium, they're just lead acid batteries. Probably if I invested in some better batteries, it'll go further. I'm gonna say we had it out for 45 minutes on the charge and still made it back home. These brushless motors come with the different boxes to control them and the monitors and, and the switches. But let me tell you what, they don't come with any instructions. So it really was a bear to try to figure out how to hook this thing all up properly, so. Okay. Um, so under the back seat is where I put the battery box and it's got six 12 volt batteries all hooked up in a series, which means each battery is hooked together. So 12, 24, 36 and so on until you get 72 volts. So it uses juice from all of the batteries at the same time to power that motor. And then of course, I've got a charge cord going in um, that charges all six batteries at the same time. So the charger is for 72 volts. And then directly under the seat, I have my control box for the brushless motor. A brushless motor cannot work on its own. It has to have the control box to control it. So that's under the back seat. And then because I have these party lights and I have headlights, let's start with the, because I have the headlights, I can't run 72 volts to the headlights. So I have to run 12 volts to the headlights. So I did step down power, which you can buy a step down converter to go all the way from, I believe around 94 volts DC down to 12 volts. So that's what I did for the headlights. Then the power to party for these little party lights, these things were originally just powered by three AA batteries, so 4.5 volts. So I stepped the 12 volt down to five volts. So I bought another step down converter to step down from 12 volts to five volts. And I have that powering these party lights. So I used to have to put AA batteries in there and they would go dead after a day or two of being out. This way they're running from these batteries and as small as they are, they'll run forever and not really drain that battery much at all. So anyway, um, that's it for that. I'll show you the, the very front of it now. Okay, so up here we have the key switch, the instrument panel that tells us our speed 
and then how much battery we have left. We have our light switch for the party lights and our light switch for the headlights, which you cannot see at this point. Throttle switch is here. So I've got a thumb switch on the left-hand side, brakes on the right. So at least when I'm, in order to keep one hand on the wheel, I have to kind of like driving a car, you have to let go of one to get to the other. So got my brakes here, throttle switch here. Um, I think that's basically it. Just go out and drive.